hello guys so this is the redmi a2 and it, it also known as the redmi a2 plus or the poco c51 it's using the codename water or cloud and it it is using the same hardware so in this video i will show you how to do instant unlock bootloader and also show you how to root this one so in this one we doesn't have an official way to unlock the bootloader so we must bypass or using the unofficial way all the step and file i will provide in my blog you can check the link in the description box if you have any questions feel free to ask on the comment section so stay tuned and check it out Okay, hello assalamualaikum guys we meet again with ombop and this time i have a new xiaomi pawn low entry pawn and it is called the redmi a2 <clears throat> and it's it's also known as the poco c51 with the code name is water and today i'm going to show you how to root this pawn okay sing mages and you can also apply this tutorial onto redmi a2 plus okay it's basically the same device okay let's get started first thing i want to show you is let's go to the about pawn <clears throat> you can see right here it's called redmi a2 and <clears throat> it is using the android 13 go edition okay this is special android edition usually for low spec device okay like this upon and it's using android routine okay you can see right here the first number is 14.0.1.0 okay basically it's using the mu but it's a strip version okay so it will optimize for low memory or low spec pawn okay first thing you need to do is enable the build number let's hit the build number five times and then go back go to the system developer options and, and enable the OM unlock right here okay done <clears throat> now if you okay so, so let's go back if you see the person in here we're using the indonesian person okay the idxm but at this moment i cannot find the uh, <coughs> stock firmware for indonesian version so after the unlock bootloader uh, i want to place it using the global version okay okay then enable om unlock and next step let's turn off the pawn and here we go now <clears throat> we're going to use the mtk gsm soul tank tools okay this is very nice tool very small very small footprint and it can bypass unlock put order for lots of uh magnetic device okay so now let's select the ubel unlock bootloader and hit execute okay after that <clears throat> we need to press the flow map flow down at the same time and then plug the usb cable okay let's try it and now it's done okay so let's check the bootloader status open cmd and type fast boot space get far space all okay and find the unlock status okay nice so we have our bond unlock okay so it is instant unlock bootloader so next step now let's try to reboot to the system okay let's see if there's something wrong and 
you can see right here after we unlock the bootloader it starts boot looping and it says the m corruption okay so we need to flash the stock rom again so now let's put it to the face button again by pressing the volume down and the power button at the same time okay after that we need to flash again the stock firmware and this is our stock firmware i'm using the global firmware okay now let's right click and open the power share or cmd and then just type flash all hit enter okay it will flash the stock firmware you can see right here i'm using the global version 14.0.11 tgom blah 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 113 <coughs> okay so before you have to extract the stock firmware and put it in the folder <coughs> next questions where you can get the firmware you can find it in the semi firmware slash archive slash muse slash water okay let's find the password okay just hit download and find the target set okay download this file extract to a folder and start flashing okay i will skip this one because it takes times and now it's already done okay you can see right here there is a picture of uh, the unlock bootloader right here it means that we have successfully unlocked the pawn okay now we should wait until it goes to the home screen now we are in the android wizard okay just hit next next until it goes to the home screen okay and here we go now we are in the home screen again okay let's go to the settings about pawn and now we're using the version 14.0.1 global but pawn hit the build number five times go back go back again uh sorry go to the system developer options and here we go now we have unlock put our open okay very nice okay uh next step okay enable the usb debugging and now let's plug the usb cable okay and then enable the mtp transfer file uh, where is it uh, because we want to copy some file in here <clears throat> okay now let's switch the screen and <clears throat> let's go to the stock firmware again Okay, find the boot image, copy the file, and let's paste it into the uh, internal storage. Let's put it into the document folder, and we also need to copy the this. Okay, we're going to use the Magis Delta Canary. Feel free to use any version that you like. Let's paste it and let's switch again <clears throat> and now let's uh, find the file manager go to the folder where you download the file okay i put it in the document folder right here and let's install the images okay install it after we install it let's open the apps okay open it allow it now go to the install menu right here 
select and patch file and navigate to a folder where you copy the boot image the same version like on the pond okay let's go and it will start patching the boot image and it will put it into the uh, download folder <clears throat> Let's go to the download folder right here and you will find the magic patch. Okay, let's copy in here. <clears throat> and when it finishes, we can boot it into the bootloader. ADB reboot uh, loader. Okay. <coughs> And from here, we can simply just flash the modify boot image like usual. Tap paste boot, flash, space boot, and let's just click and drag the file. Okay, when it finishes, we can reboot to the system again. Flash boot, space reboot. And if you have any warning messages right here, just ignore it. And now we are on the home screen. Now let's open the mages. And you see for the first time, it will ask for a require additional setups. Just hit OK and it will automatically reboot in 5 seconds. And now we're back in the home screen. Let's open the mages. And here we go. Now we have successfully installed mages on our pond. <coughs> Let's open the root checker. Let's close it and open it again. And here we go. <clears throat> now we have a rooted pawn on our device. Okay. The code name is beside water is cloud. Okay, cloud. I think it's the, it is the code name for the global version. <clears throat> then let's open the root beer. Okay, the root beer also said it has been rooted. Okay, so I have not. <coughs> hide the root beer so it still can read the root access okay now i'm opening the dev check and dev check also said our device is rooted with mages okay <clears throat> so let's check the version we're now using the global version okay. okay that's all guys i hope it helps you see you in the next video wassalamualaikum